see, talking to the wall again. Oh goodness, we just started. <laughs> Don't talk to the wall, talk to me. Hey everyone, happy December 14th, 2015. Um, I have stories to tell and news to share and I'm excited to talk to you guys tonight um, because we are going to be taking a break because I'm going to be on um, vacation so we'll talk about that later but for now the first thing that I did want to do was just take a brief moment to acknowledge that this day three years ago I was in Connecticut when the Sandy Hook shootings happened and, and I, I'm not saying this to bring everybody down I'm saying it because it was the most unbelievable day and and I think a lot of us have experienced a lot of those so I just wanted to mention it because it was on my mind today while I was driving and I want to send love and peace out to everybody and I hope you all will do the same and hope that we generate some good energy at least right here in this moment right so Today's topic, tonight's topic, is finding the energy when you're spent. So let me go through my, my little thingy-do that I do in the beginning, just in case there's any new viewers. I'm your host, I'm Marcy Geller, and this is a weekly web chat, although, you know, if I'm not in an area where there's good Wi-Fi, we've decided to not hold the web chats because it's just frustrating for everybody because the feed is not very good, but we're working on it, right, guys? Uh, so I'm not anybody's uh, guru. I, I sit here and I come up with these topics about things that are in my mind, in my soul, in my heart that I want to explore and I find that by sharing it with anybody that's joining me on these Monday nights that I find these incredible discoveries about myself and about how I view the world and hopefully maybe we all get that from it. I'm, I'm assuming that everybody's getting something because you guys keep tuning in and that's really awesome. So hi Marcy, uh, feeling spent but here I am. <laughs> hi David, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well I'm going to tell you this was actually a last minute topic. Usually I have a list of topics and you know I, I, I tell you guys that I usually ruminate over the weekend and just whatever one sort of hits a chord with me that's the one I decide to go with for that Monday. But today I want to I'm going to walk you through very briefly how my day went. So I woke up at 6 a.m. I wrote in my journal. I meditated. I went for a three and a half mile run then I drove five hours from Baltimore, <laughs> not Baltimore, Silver Spring, Maryland, and I then, after a bunch of other things, went and did shopping in, like, you know, food shopping and Costco shopping and all that kind of stuff and stood on lines, and I just felt like you could have just, like, peeled me off the floor. I was so tired, and I said, you know, I've made this commitment to you guys and to myself to be here every Monday when we have the, the Wi-Fi available. And so I'm not going to poop out on you guys. I'm going to be here even though I'm feeling some exhaustion. And I thought about what motivated me to want to still share with you guys tonight and thought that maybe perhaps that was something that would be interesting for some of you who are also tired. <laughs> So, you know, it's it's not just about uh, physical exhaustion. For me, a lot of times it's about mental exhaustion. I find that I'm always plotting and planning and doing so many things and managing so many aspects of my life as a musician, as a friend, as a, a wife, as a daughter, as a sister, as a friend, you know, all these things that my brain has got this chatter going on and it's exhausting. So I was thinking about some of the things that I do when I have to be here. I have to be full of energy and I have to share my energy and what can I share with you guys about some of my 
tools that I use. So one of the things that I do is I do what I call a conscious meditation um, where I try to really quiet my brain because I find that even if sometimes my body is exhausted, if I can sort of like refresh my brain or I call it like a reboot, almost like a computer, I find that I feel more, what's the word? sort of excited, you know, so, and, and more calm, and how do you feel calm and excited at the same time, I and mean, maybe that sounds weird to you, but, like, when I did my meditation this afternoon in anticipation of having to talk to you guys after getting maybe five hours of sleep last night and driving five hours to get back here to New York, um, I felt refreshed and I felt calm and I felt peaceful, but... I had a renewed excitement about being able to share this topic about you uh, with you guys. So part of it is about quieting the mind and whatever works for you, you know, that's great. I find that doing the conscious meditation really helps me because it helps clear out all the, 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 the conversations and the chaos and the noise that might be going on that's sort of exhausting my brain. Um, another thing that I like to do is sometimes, believe it or not, even if it's the middle of the day, I like to take a quick shower because that will sort of re-energize me. And, and that's something I learned from my husband because he's always like, you know, get out of your sweatpants, <laughs> go take a shower and put some clothes on, you'll feel so much better. And lo and behold, he's right. Something else that I have been doing, and I'm also going to give credit to my husband for this, you know, I felt that little, you know, winter blues dip coming on where, you know, I was missing the sun and finding myself feeling sad, even if there weren't reasons for the sadness. And my husband, who is so brilliant, said to me, you know, you're doing it wrong. You are you know, getting up at whatever time and you're doing all your stuff and then you're going for your run at like, you know, four or five o'clock when it's dark already. He said, you need to get up earlier because that's when the sun is out and that's when you can get that full dosage of, of the vitamin D. So you can ask anybody that's known me for any amount of time. I am the first person to tell you that I am not a morning person, that the idea of getting up before 7 a.m. without a really good reason is completely absurd to me. And I've been getting up like 6, 6.30, you know, and doing my routine and getting out and doing my run when the sun is magnificent and beautiful and I'm... I'm really happy that so far I'm feeling pretty good this winter, so that's awesome. You know, and the other thing is, look, this has been a really remarkable week for me. If you guys are friends, you know, on Facebook or follow me on Twitter, you know that a lot of significant things happened this week, one of which was the sharing of the new music video for Only Love Matters, the duet that's on the new CD that I did with David Buskin. And it was really exciting. Like, I've, I've put out performance videos before, but I never did an actual, like, music video. And I will tell you, first off, it was a crazy amount of editing. I think I spent 10 hours editing this video, and uh, I got, like, carpal tunnel from it. <laughs> It was like so painful because, you know, I'm doing, and, and if anybody out there works for Apple, I want you to know that the entire video was shot on Apple products and was edited in iMovie. And I'm really proud of that because everybody was asking me how I did it and they thought like we had like these professional cameras and stuff. So I'm like, no, did it on my iPhone and my iPad. <laughs> so it was, it's pretty exciting that you can do this kind of stuff on this very low tech uh, technology. So that happened and then yesterday, which was Sunday, I had my last performance, my last live performance of 2015 and that was at the WFMA or WFMA showcase down in Silver Spring, uh, Maryland and it was just such a good show. And, and I'm not saying that because 
you know, the applause were there. I'm saying it because, I don't know how else to describe this. I, I keep making music and I keep trying to figure out if it makes sense to keep making this music because, you know, I guess as a young person I had much higher expectations for the amount of people that would hear it. And as I get older I'm realizing that I'm all about the quality instead of the quantity. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I see I'm getting some comments. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but winter hasn't started yet. <laughs> that's me. That's I'm, I'm hissing at you like a cat. <laughs> uh, still a long way to go. No, there's only a few days. Winter starts on, on December 21st, but I'm going to keep at this getting up early thing and see if that helps me. And what else did you say? Love you singing with David Buskin. Thank you. I love me singing with David Buskin too. Just because it's like I have to pinch myself. I'm like, I did a duet with David Buskin? Holy cow. And if I say so myself, it, it's, a, it's a pretty special track. And I'm, I'm very, very proud of it. And he's very proud of it. And I'm really proud of the video. So we'll talk about the video later. Because if you haven't seen it, I would love for you to see it and share it. Because... As I was, I was starting to say, um, I've done performance videos before and you know, they get like a hundred views, but this one's been up for like, you know, two days and it has over 400 views. And I know in YouTube terms, like that's not a lot, but for me, it's like monumental. So I'm very excited and I kind of want to keep the, not just the video out there, but the sentiment behind the video, which is, you know, only love matters. And I really completely believe that. I believe that love is this energy that connects all of us and, and it is my hope that we figure out a way to make love have more importance and value than fear and indifference and you know, all the other negative stuff that goes on that keeps us at odds with each other. So let me read some comments here. Um, yeah, but you don't have to rush the winter, girl. <laughs> well, you know, I'm getting to a point in my life where I really don't want to rush anything other than maybe doctor appointments. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like I want to savor things because it, it does feel like life is going very, very quickly. And I, I remember when I was little, like my parents saying, like, you'll see the older you get, the faster time goes. And I always thought that was like the most bizarre thing. I'm like, time is time is time. But as I'm getting, you know, more mature, I'm noticing that that's kind of true. Like there is this sort of momentum that happens. And there's this part of me that's really committed to being present and being in the moment and savoring my life and savoring moments and, and, and exchanges with people and like these, you know, Monday night exchanges. So let's see. It's going to take a lot of love to change the way things are. You're absolutely right. And the only thing that I can say in response to that is that I think that love and the amount of love that each one of us is capable of is limitless. And for that reason, I believe it is possible. And I'm going to just keep sharing my heart and and sharing good energy and acceptance and respect and um, hope that that sort of creates that little ripple that we talked about last week about, you know, how when a butterfly, you know, flutters its wings that that air affects all the air, you know, it's, it, it's just, it, it's sort of this momentum that starts and it, it continues forward and I, I do believe that love is more powerful than fear and hatred and, and negativity. And I, I want to cultivate love in my life. I want to be somebody who is both loving and loved. And so, so anyway, that's, that's, that's about the video, but back on topic, because I know a lot of us, we are balancing so many different roles. You know, it's not just about earning money, but it's, you know, if you're a creative person, it's like earning your money and, you know, staying committed to making your art and sharing that art and then getting the word out there about it. 
it's for me it's it's endless and if i didn't force myself to stop sometimes i would never i would just constantly be in motion and i actually said this to my husband john today when he was driving home i said you know that saying uh not the saying the the theory newton's theory is a newton that um an object in motion will stay in motion and I said I made the fatal flaw. I had the fatal. I made the fatal mistake of sitting down. And now I feel like I can't get up again. And so this all led me to really wanting to talk about this idea of feeling physically or mentally exhausted and still having a reserve of energy inside that you can tap into, so that you can still do the things that you need to do. So. Uh, Hate divides, love multiples. Yeah, right on. <laughs> um, so that's where where I was. I, that's where my my thinking was. Was that what are the things that I do to energize myself when I have stuff that needs to get done and I'm feeling really tapped out? And one of the things that I shared was that I do sort of a conscious meditation to sort of focus my brain in quiet and in, and in peace because that peace is like, I consider it almost like a reboot the way you reboot your computer. Like I think it kind of like refreshes your, your, my brain anyway. So that's something that I do. Um, you know, the shower, you know, that'll, that'll help the body feel, you know, invigorated. Sometimes I will dance, you know, and I don't mean like, you know, ballet or jazz or anything, you know, specific sometimes I'll just put on some music and I'll dance because the the um, act of dancing will get the energy happening and it will sort of get me in that happy space and I I do think that that's part of it that a lot of times when we're exhausted I think that there's a tendency to start to not just feel tired but to feel cranky or to feel sad. At least that's how I get, you know, like they always say, like, oh, you're, you're, you're cranky like a baby. Well, I, I get like that. And so I find if I do things that are sort of silly and sort of high energy, like dancing or jumping around or being goofy, that just that, that release of silliness gives me energy and sort of refocuses me so that I can get to task. And tonight it was about being fully present for you guys and thinking about what we would talk about and what what song I was going to share and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's see, did I miss anything? L-glutamine ha happens too. Tempo of music definitely helps. Oh, okay. So there's, thank you. Thank you, uh, 579. Thank you for sharing that. I think I have a feeling that I know who 579 is, but I won't give it away because if you want to remain anonymous, you can remain anonymous. But so, okay, so there's something, L-glutamine or L-glutamine, um, something that might help you. I have friends who I know do, uh, what is it, that five, four hour energy? And I try, <laughs> I try to avoid that kind of stuff because I don't know. I, I guess there's a part of me that thinks I'll get so hyped up that I'll never sleep again. And sleeping is already a challenge for me. Isn't that funny? Like somebody who can feel so tapped out and exhausted can then finally get to the place where I'm allowing myself to be sleeping and I can't get to sleep. So that's, that's an interesting challenge that I have. And I've been working on it for much of my life and I've gotten better at it. You know, my dad was the one who told me, get sublingual B12, and I do take my B12. You know, and that's another thing um, that I just realized, that when I get tired, the first thing I want to do is eat sugar. Isn't that weird? Like, and I know that sugar is supposed to give you energy, but for me, the exact opposite happens. Like, I'll eat sugar, and then I'll be like, you know, like you gotta like, you know, <laughs> wake me up, resuscitate me. So it's interesting that when you're tired or when I'm tired that I crave something that makes me feel more tired. So what I do try to do is drink a lot of water. Yay, everybody take a sip of water. We'll say cheers because it's good to hydrate. It's good for your skin too. All right, let's see. 
I know that feeling tired and wired, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a disease, you know, I think that many people experience that exhaustion, but you can't shut your brain off, and, and I think in those moments, that's a really good time for meditation also, I, my ritual for trying to quiet my brain when it's nighttime is that I say my gratitude prayers, I, I, I believe in a higher power, God, whatever you want to name, that all connecting, all knowing being, thing, entity, whatever. I don't think God cares what you call God. But um, I say prayers of gratitude at night to God, um, thanking God for everything that I've been blessed with in my life and in that day. I then say a prayer for, for every friend, family member um, who is struggling with illness. Um, and that list is ever-evolving, I'm sad to say. But I, it's like, I, I think that when people get sick, we can feel very helpless. And so this is my way of feeling like maybe I'm, I'm helping a little bit. So I say my prayer, my long list prayer for, for all the people who are in need. And then recently, I think I've talked about this, I've been doing these I am. So instead of going to bed thinking about what I didn't get done and what I didn't get finished and who I forgot to call, I sort of marinate my, my subconscious in things that I want to create in my life. So it's like, I am happy, I am joyful, I, I am a great sleeper, I am a person who sleeps deeply, <laughs> you know, all these things. And so that's my little ritual that I have for going to bed. And then in the morning, now that I've been waking up extra early, I've been doing this new ritual, which is where I write in my journal and I do my meditation and I work out and do my run and then I'm ready for the day. So, let's see. Uh, <laughs> doing the tango can get your mind right. A dance of unbridled passion is good for you and drinking some clean water. Well, I think that that's awesome and I have only tangoed, I think, with one person in my entire life, and you're going to laugh, but it was the drummer from Blackmore's Night when we were on tour, Alex Alexander, would tango with me, and everybody just thought we were such dorks, and we did not care. We would tango with abandon. Pardon me, there's like a little fuzzy on my tongue, and it's annoying. Okay, so let's see. I'm very fortunate that I have a little trouble, maybe a handful of nights, sleeping. Good for you. I'm, my husband is the same way. You know, we will literally like get into bed and you know, we'll say goodnight and give each other a kiss. And like, if I wait more than 60 seconds to go, oh, by the way, tomorrow, could you dot, 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 he is out. And I know what you're going to say. He's pretending, but no, he, he's really out. So, um, let's see. It's like 23 after the hour, and after our, not the hour, after 23 minutes into our web chat. I'm still a little sleepy here, I'm going to be honest. But I decided to do a song tonight that's high energy, specifically because I was feeling tired. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do a song with high energy. And this one's fairly new, and it's, it's kind of silly. It was written during one of those crazy fearless songwriter challenges that I do. Thank you, Timmy Reardon, another song. And I did it last night at the show, and I think it was a hit. So I'm going to share it with you guys, and then we'll talk just a little bit, because I want to talk to you a little bit more about stuff. Okay, so this is called The Main Course. Oh, let's see. Uh, cancel, clear, and close, shift the thinking. <laughs> Good point. All right, here we go. Ready? Bring your spoon
that's my song offering. See, I made it. I was able to keep my energy up. Isn't that crazy what we're capable of? I guess, you know, what would if we did this a few weeks ago? Life is not a race. It's a marathon, right? And, and I guess that kind of goes along with the same philosophy that, like, when you have to pull it out, you have to pull it out. You know, like, keep that energy and, and be ready and, and be able to just, you know, do what I just did. So we're almost done. Oh, a boogie blues kind of tune. That's different for you. And no piano squeak. I know. That's because we had the pedal worked on. Um, and maybe it's this warm weather. I don't know if all of you are in the Northeast. Some of you may be in other parts of the country, the world. But um, we are having a ridiculously warm December. I don't ever remember a December where I could walk outside in short sleeves. <laughs> And that's, that's the kind of weather we've been having. Like yesterday for the show, I had this like really pretty long sleeve blue shirt that I was going to wear. And I, I'm like, I'm going to melt. So I wound up wearing a sleeveless top in December. Oh, it's a commercial. All right, who's still here who's not seeing commercial? Anybody or is everybody still everybody seeing commercial? Well, if you're watching the replay, people who are with me are seeing a commercial right now. So you get to just have me all to yourself. <laughs> um, I'm kind of glad that I did the song early tonight because who, who can predict when Ustream is going to show a commercial, right guys? <laughs> so, when you see me, let me know. Let me see if I can type something uh, in case. Um, uh, okay, so... Uh, let me know when commercial is over. Okay. Just so you guys know that I'm still there. So, and if you're watching the rebroadcast, then um, you didn't see that. There's this chat bar, and we get to talk to each other. So let you know. That's me. <laughs> I'm reading my own. I'm reading my own comment. <laughs> oh, silly, silly, silly woman. My brain is kind of like scrambled eggs right now. So let's see. There, how long is this commercial? Because it's been going on for more than a minute now. That's not, okay. It's stuck. Commercial for Discover. Oh, poo. Okay, no, I've been here a whole great time. <laughs> you've been here the whole time. So you've been seeing me be goofy. You know, that's okay. There are, there are worse things that could happen than for people to see me goofy. And thank you. I'm glad you thought it was a great song. I, I like it. It's fun. It's, it's definitely something different. And it was specific for me because one of my really, really good friends is a blues fan, loves the blues. And I, you know, I'm like, I just don't, blues me. I don't know. I don't know if I can pull off blues, but I wrote this and I really enjoy singing it. I feel like it's fun. Okay, commercial is over. Yay, we're back. So I've been, I've been having conversations with uh, myself and David while you guys were watching a commercial. Anyway, so we've got like uh, 30 seconds. We'll let it run a little bit over because we can. I just wanted to remind everybody, if you have not seen the Only Love Matters video with David Buskin and myself and my husband and John Tobacco and Honor Finnegan and our friends Danielle and Timo and a whole mess of other people, um, please watch it, please share it, please comment, because it's, it's, it, it, what it does is it makes it higher rank in YouTube and the higher the rank, the more people see it that might just be wandering around YouTube and I'm, yes, I'm doing it for promotion, you know, like let's call a spade a spade, but I really, really believe the message of it, which is that it is about love, and, and I, I do think that love is stronger than fear, so please watch, please share. If you have multiple devices, multiple computers, watch it on all of them. I think they count it as a separate view. Uh, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, this is, I know I love Honor Finnegan too, she's adorable and super talented, I was going to say, this is our last webcast of 2015 because I'm going to be away the next two Mondays. And you know in the past when we've tried to broadcast from other places, it has just not gone well. So we're going to take two weeks off uh, and we will be back on Monday, January 4th. I want to wish all of you a happy Merry Everything and for, uh, you know, just to... 
Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. If I'm leaving something out, happy everything, truly. Have a joyous holiday season. Be extra kind to others and to yourself. I am so very grateful for all of you that tune in each week. Oh, sign up for the mailing list if you're not on my mailing list. If you love what we're doing here, leave a tip because we're trying to invest in better technology so we can do this without commercials. And um, I'm just going to send you off and say let's have the best, best 2016 ever. Love to you all. Oh, one more message. Have you heard our copy of our house? Uh, in the middle of the street. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, probably. I think, yeah, maybe I have in concert. But anyway, lots of love. Happy New Year. Happy everything. Take care, guys. Bye.